Greetings YouTube, it's Moodog 815G bringing you a video from the home bicycle shop. I'm doing uh, this video to kind of showcase some of the components that I'll be using on an upcoming build, um, I should say finishing, of a uh, bicycle that I purchased uh, for the summer, a mountain bike. Uh, more on that later. Um, I'll actually be doing a video on that, so keep tuned. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for that. Uh, without further ado, um, I am a very frugal uh, person when it comes to buying things that work for the best possible price. I don't have to have the lightest stuff in the world. I don't have to have the highest zoot stuff in the world. I don't have to have the custom made this, that, or the other thing. I'm looking for bang for the buck, guys. That's what I'm all about. Um, my wife says I'm kind of cheap, but I try to stretch the dollar. I try to get the the, uh, uh, the best uh, bang for the buck, like I said before, and that comes uh, with you know knowledge of what works and what doesn't, and uh, what, what uh, is durable and what's not you kind of do your averages and pick the best out of the crowd um, this video is going to be um, on some shifters I picked up off of eBay uh, I got these for $26 they are made by uh, Sunrace which I believe uh, bought out the Sturmy Archer name or one or vice versa I'm not quite clear on that if anybody knows out there go ahead and correct me if you need to in the in the comment section below. Uh, anyway, what these are are pod type shifters, kind of like the uh, Shimano pods, the uh, Rapid Flyers, sort of on that same idea. Uh, a little bit different actuation on these than the Rapid Flyers. Uh, but I got these, like I said, on um, Amazon.com, uh, product of Sunray Sturmy Archer. So it does say Sturmy Archer actually on the carton here, made in Taiwan. What isn't? I think Taiwan is probably maybe a little bit better spot to have stuff made than China although it is still a Republic of China so I don't know what the wages are there regardless um, it seems like a good enough quality product figured I'd give it a try um, the uh, model of these uh, shifters are DLM 53 uh, so M53 uh, and then there's some other probably product code on there or whatever but uh, it's right and left these are 8 speed because the bike I'll be building is going to have an 8 speed rear and uh, tw uh, 24 total gears. So, um, and pardon me for the shaky camera work here, I'm dealing with my iPhone SE right now. Uh, here's what they look like. Uh, I can't really do a review on them per se right now because I don't have them installed yet and I haven't used them. But to get a, get a kind of a closer look at um, what you're getting here, uh, it seems to be a pretty heavy duty piece of uh, piece of equipment here heavy-duty component uh, the shifters work uh, on a push-push uh, system so in other words your low gears would be actuated by um, using your thumb and by pressing down and same thing with the high gears or vice versa uh, this is a uh, eight-speed shifter like I said before the window seems pretty decent on it the uh, actual indicator window which I really don't even use a whole lot, but it's nice to have that there for those that don't, that do use that or do want that feature. The um, Sunrace is um, uh, screen printed onto the band here that actually goes around the bar by the binder. It looks like a little bit of fake carbon fiber look on this area here. I haven't really had these apart to, you know, see how to change the cables. It did come with cables. Although this one's got a slight kink in it right by my finger here. I might be able to straighten that out. It doesn't look too bad. Um, but it looks to be heavy enough duty. The banding material is uh, presumably alloy. They're not real heavy, not real light. Seem to be sturdy enough. And there's the 8-speed uh, side. Here's the, uh, here's the left side for the big ring. Uh, for your chain rings, is the 3-speed side here. But uh, yeah, same way. I mean, it's push, push, push. And I wish I could... Do this with one hand but it's that whole idea of a push push system so we'll see how that works out um i didn't see really any major reviews the reviews that i did see on amazon uh seem to be uh favorable for these shifters again 26 dollars for the pair um i don't know i think the shimano equivalent to these is probably in the 30 or 40 dollar range uh the equivalent to these is going to be probably alivio um, and if anybody knows any different, again, please post 
uh, in the comments uh, to correct me so I'm not giving out uh, erroneous information. But that's just my my um, my view on these. They seem about a Levio level, which is, you know, it's 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 mid entry level uh, for Shimano. The Levio is and just sturdy. They work. Everything that I've had uh, Levio with Levio branding from Shimano has, has worked admirably up and up to and including the crank sets. So I'm going to try these out for the summer and on my mountain bike build. And um, I will be doing a in-depth look at that mountain bike and some of the parts that I've chosen to use on it and uh, show you my frugality and maybe even do some trail side stuff this summer. So um, with that said, I think that'll wrap it up for now. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you like and uh, watch for more videos on bikes, bike gear, bike repairs, that type of thing. Moodog815 signing off. God bless the Republic.